Hi guys, welcome back. This is my fair Katie. This is what I'm doing today. I'm setting up an old toy of Leslie's. It's an artificial jellyfish aquarium. And we just got her a sensory aquarium tube that she really loves. She hadn't seen this toy maybe in a year or two. So I thought it would be a good time to bring it out again. Because that's what our, these moms do, you know. We have to put toys away when they're bored and then pull them back out. And then it's like a brand new toy. So, we have distilled water back here. I'm not sure how much we're going to need. I think we're just going to need one, but we have two just in case. Hill Country Fair brand, of course, if you yeah. notice, because I love my ETB. So this is the actual tank. This is the top. The outlet. Not the outlet. <laughs> the cord that plugs in that's going to make it work. This is the background. It's a little wrinkled. I'm going to try to make it work. If not, we'll just not use it. And this is the jellyfish. I've already washed them. Just warm water. And this is just Dawn dish soap in a pump bottle that I have to do dishes. So you need to wipe everything down and wash everything down nice and clean and then dry it off. Because if not, this will not work. If you try to look at the look this up on um, Amazon for this artificial jellyfish aquarium. A lot of bad reviews a lot of bad reviews and it's because people don't know how to read instructions that's that's basically the problem so you get a white uh, not a white towel a wet napkin towel I guess if you want you're supposed to be able to wet this and then stick this on since it has some folds I'm not sure it'll work but maybe it will we're gonna go ahead and try it I don't think Leslie's gonna really lose any sleep over it if she doesn't get to have this backing on here because again she got bored with this toy a few years back and I put it up but when I first pulled it out and we bought it she loved it she thought it was amazing she loves sensory toys and this is certainly a sensory toy but it could just be for anybody it doesn't necessarily have to be for a uh, child that needs that kind of stimulation it could be for anybody's kid even adults would like this um, but you just wet the back of the tank and you press it down and it sticks and it sticks there we go guys yep moving on so you take your distilled water open it of course duh we're going to support in here there is a max fill line on the side right there and that's what we're going to do this is filled up really high it's probably going to spill oh nope just a little bit we got this we got this let's fill this up probably just gonna take one gallon but we had extra left that's what really made me decide to do this because we had extra distilled water left from doing the aquarium tube and uh, I thought man I'm gonna pull that back out where is that thing so I hunted it up washed all the dust off of it and we are gonna set this baby up again does need a little bit more than I thought I thought it would just take a gallon oh, I was wrong and we're just trying to fill it up to at least that minimum line and after we get the jellyfish and everything in there then we'll see about filling up a little bit more but we're gonna do at least the minimum okay so all right so far so far so good so you want to put a couple of pumps of dish soap in there don't ask me why you need to I don't know I'm gonna take a straw and just 
stir it around a little bit. Not enough that it's going to make suds, but just enough to distribute it. It's not sticking back here, you see that? Oh well. Put it up against a wall, it'll fix itself in a day or two. It may just sit right here, I don't know. I haven't decided. Daniel had forgot we even bought this. He was like, what are you talking about? I was like, the thing with the jellyfish. And he's like, I don't know. It's like, no, we have it. He still does not remember it. So this will be like a whole new first time thing for him. So let's stir it up. And what they want you to do, again, people on the reviews, they don't know how to read when they read instructions. They want you to put them in there. And when you put them in there, put them at the side and get all the air out or as much as possible because people are posting reviews talking about how they don't float and all this stuff and or they float too much or that's where the Dawn dish soap comes in and that's where the distilled water comes in you can't use tap water and you've um. got to use dish soap <laughs> maybe you don't have to use Dawn dish soap but that's what I use all right we have three in there. This is number four. You, again, put it on the side. Drop, push it down in there. You want to make sure that you get as much air out as possible. <coughs> Excuse me. Getting over bronchitis. Cold first and then bronchitis. But that's mom's. We got to keep going, right? Okay, there's six. And here's seven. Put it in on the side. Push it down. Okay. So far, so good, right? That should be it. This is super easy. That's why I don't understand why people are giving this bad reviews because it is amazing so here's the top it has an on off and select button which is different um, colors you'll see because we're gonna turn the lights off and make magic here dog hair doesn't matter that I just wiped it off there's dog hair it probably fell off my shirt and stuck to the top of it because I have four dogs in it it happens and I'm a dog groomer so I bring dog hair home if you don't like dog hair you don't like dogs don't watch this channel you got issues if you don't like dogs animals in general you should like animals so I'm gonna plug this in all right we got this turned around and plug it in right there Let's set this up Turn it on and it does take a few minutes to get going there it is right out of the dusty box that it was in a few minutes and it's working they're floating they're moving and they'll get into their groove and look really nice let's turn these lights off and then you're gonna see how cute they really are Look at that. I don't know about you, but my kid, she loves this stuff and she's going to love this. But yep, that's where we set it up. That's how easy it was. This is the Faux Jellyfish Aquarium from Amazon. I think it's like $25, maybe $30. It's sold out right now. Um, I'm not sure how much they're going to sell it for, but I'm, I don't think I paid more than $30 for it. And this is hours of calming, stimulating, um, fun for 
my kiddo but yep this is how it's set up thanks for watching like this video subscribe see y'all next time bye guys